Hello and welcome to the Walking Talking Topic Transformations question number 9 with me Mr Barton. The end is finally in sight. We've nearly done everything uh, transformations could possibly throw at us. We've just got a part A and a part B to do. Part A is fairly nice, part B is pretty nasty but let's not underestimate part A. We've got two marks that we need to get. Rotate the square through 90 degrees, okay, no problem. Clockwise, let's make sure we remember which way that is, about the point 21. Well, let's get that point 21 in there first. That's two on the X and one on the Y. I think it goes there. Then, now this tracing paper is getting a bit full now, let's pop our tracing paper on. Let's trace round our square. There he goes there. And let's make sure we do this uh, rotation right. So we've got to put our pen in our center of rotation and we've got to turn it 90 degrees. So one quarter turn of the paper and it ends up there. So let me see if I can remember that. 7, 1 and 7 minus 3. And then there. So I think it was there. 7, 1 and 7 minus 3. Honestly, my memory is terrible. But I'm not going to just gamble on that. I'm going to draw it in. And then I'm just going to have a quick check with my tracing paper because I would not be wanting to drop a mark on a question like this. So have I got that right? Let's have a look. There he goes. There was my centre of enlargement dot. There was that. Things are looking good. Right, two marks in the back. But now the big finale. What have we got here? Enlarge, not a problem. The square shown on the grid by a scale factor of, here's the issue, minus a half. Now we've done... Uh, scale factor 2 and scale factor 3 but we've not done a half but that's okay the half bit isn't actually too bad the half just means you go half as far scale factor 2 you go twice as far scale factor a half you go half as far no problem it's the minus that causes the issue but the minus just means you go the opposite direction so if you go right when you do the enlargement you actually go left if you go up well when you do the enlargement you go down now I like to keep a track of this um, and I'll show you what I mean when I'm going through it so center of, um, using zero zero as a center of enlargement right let's take it a point at a time let's go for this one you would go two to the right and two up so I'm going to record that as two to the right and two up as a vector but we want to go half as far so that will be one to the right and one up but we want to go in the opposite direction. So it's one to the left and it's one down. Easy. Let's take this point. That will be six to the right and two up. Six to the right and two up. We want to go half as far. That's three to the right and one up. But we want to go in the opposite direction because it's a minus. So let's go one, two, three to the left and let's go one down. No problem. Let's take this one. Six to the right and six up from our center of enlargement. Half as far, three and three, opposite direction, minus three, minus three. Always go back to the center. One, two, three to the left, one, two, three down. This one here, two to the right and six up. Two to the right, six up. Half, it would be one and three if it was scale factor a half, but it's minus a half, so it's minus one and minus three. So one to the left and three down. And we end up with a square that looks like this. Now there are a couple of ways we can check this first thing we can do is check that our sides of the right length should be half the size. So if I take this one, one, two, three, four, and this one, one, two, that's looking good. And next, it's always worth checking that if you join uh, your corresponding points up, that they um, go through the center of enlargement. So if I just take this one, six, two, I joined him to minus three, minus one, that one there. And if I join them up, you can see with the ruler, they go exactly through my center of enlargement, which is a really nice feature. And that is transformations sorted.